In this video, I'm going to talk about Quo Dashcam. I'm going to go over the features and the menu system, and I'm going to show you the video quality during the day and night. So stay tuned. So this is the camera right here. As you can see, this is a very compact design and very high quality build that I really like. So we have the camera in the front and also another one to show inside the car. And this one is actually, you can tilt it to the desired degree that you wanna have. But the front one is just showing the front and you cannot really move it around. On the top, we have the slot for mounting and also the USB jack for the power. At the bottom, we have a couple of buttons to control the camera and also a mem memory card slot. We also included an adhesive pad if you wanna install the dash cam anywhere else, like on your dashboard or something. Also the power adapter and the very long USB cable to connect it to the dash cam. So this one has a built-in GPS, which is really useful. If you want to track your movement, know uh, at one point if something happened, where was it, when was it, that is really useful to have. The quality of this camera is 1080p front and uh, rear. So one thing to remember, the good 1080p is way better than the cheap 4K. And this camera has a Wi-Fi connection and comes with the free app for Android and iOS. You can actually monitor the GPS data and also your footage if you want to save something. I'm going to try the app towards the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. So the rear camera is equipped with IR infrared night vision because it will show you the clear image at night and that is very helpful. This camera is also equipped with super capacitor which is allow this device to work in low temperature or very high temperature. If you live in Arizona, you definitely need a device like this or maybe in New York or something like that when you're freezing and obviously has the loop recording and supports up to 256 gigabyte of SD memory card definitely need the loop recording for any dash cam okay now the camera is installed on the windshield and also you can actually turn it 360 degree which is a really good feature now we are in the menu. If you'll select the resolution, you have the front and inside camera. For front, we have the 1080p and 720p as of quality. For the inside, we have the same thing. You can have the option to turn it off as well. And if you go for a loop recording, we have the one, three, and five minutes. I usually put it on three minutes. This cam has a Wi-Fi. You need to turn it on if you want to work with the app. And we can turn on the GPS as well to record the GPS data. If you go to the display option, you have the front inside, front and inside and inside with front all combinations. And you can select the G sensor and put it on the medium. And for motion detection, I am gonna leave that off. And I'm gonna leave the parking mode on off as well. Auto power off, off as well. And if you go to the screensaver, you can select uh, 30 seconds and one minute for the display to turn off. You definitely want to turn on the sound recording and check the volume to make sure the audio is going to be recorded. And for the infrared light, you can put it on off, on or auto. You can put it on auto for best performance. You can turn on the wide dynamic range, which is going to give you the brighter picture. And you can also have the fatigue driving alert for one hour, two hour or four hours. Uh, to give you an alarm so you pay attention to the road basically okay now we are testing the quality of the video during the day what i can see is a very sharp bright image with nice colors and overall the quality during the day is really nice and i'm okay with it we have nice quality colors but sometimes when uh, things are moving really fast, you cannot really see the clear image, but overall we have the really nice quality and sharp image during the day. Okay, now we are testing the rear camera quality. I see a very sharp image and nice colors. Now let's test the audio from the camera. Okay, now this is the audio quality that you are hearing from the inside. 
because this camera, this dash cam is able to record the audio as well. And this is the audio quality you are getting with this camera. So one thing I noticed with the audio is we get like a good audio but it's not really syncing with my lips so it's lagging that's one of the downsides but at least we get the audio which is really good one other downside is that i see a overcast purple color over the black ones and i think that's because that might be because of the infrared working still and i'm not really sure why is that but that's what i noticed so far but overall the quality is amazing and we get like a sharp image Okay, now we are testing the front camera during the night what i see is again a really sharp image but for the parts that are in the headlights so if if the parts that are in the headlight were bright the camera captures them very sharp and good quality but if you notice in the darker areas they are kind of noisy and out of focus Besides that, I think uh, the camera is doing an okay job during the night as well. Okay, now testing the rear camera during the night. I'm just uh, playing with the infrared sensor to see how it's working. Right now it's on auto mode, so right now it changed to the color. And if it gets darker, it will switch to infrared, like right now. And during the night, the quality is not the greatest, but it's something to have and it's decent enough. But when it's getting really dark, the image gets kind of noisy. But overall, it's still a good option to have during the night. Okay, now I install the app. The name of the app is FiCam. Okay, when you open the app, you need to connect to DVR. You need to connect to camera Wi-Fi. You go to your, your Wi-Fi setting and you select the name and you put the password that you set in the app. Now, here we go, we are inside the app. You can record the video, take a picture, or you can record the GPS data for your route to track wherever you go and the speed. If you go to the uh, data, you can see all the recorded footage on the memory card and you can check them out. And also if you go to the setting, you have all the settings available to you in the app, same as the setting inside the camera. So this is very easy to change some settings. So you don't have to go to the camera and press some buttons and find the menu. It is really easy. You have all the settings that you need at your fingertips. Okay, now the app is tracking my movement and it's doing a really amazing job tracking on the map which is using the Google map. But for some reason, the video recording froze on the app, but it is still recording on the camera. That's something that the app has to fix. Overall, the tracking is pretty accurate and that's really nice to have. And one other thing that I noticed with the app, when you go back to the recorded footage and you open your video to see the tracked movement of the GPS, the app doesn't show the track route exactly on the right spot on the map and that's another bug that this app has and i think they need to fix that one as well but overall having the gps and recording the data is really good and hopefully they fix the bug and everything should be good to go but overall i'm giving this dash cam a 7 out of a 10 for having tons of features like gps infrared parking loop recording supporting 256 gigabytes of memory very amazing quality during the day and i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video